is ease, do-it-yourself Whirlpool jet kits are available in custom configurations and with standard or digital controls. Long and busy tub. One of the first things you have to do, you have to get your Ys ready for your airlines. You will attach them to about a two-inch piece of a three-eighths air hose. Making sure that you don't glue over the tip at the end or your jet will not get air. After you have them all connected, you then attach them to your jets. We have two different kinds of jets. We have single jets, which we normally put by the overflow because you don't want hoses to go over the overflow. So when they install the plumbers, if you have hoses there, they can't get to the drain. So you have the singles, and then you also have the doubles. The doubles are where you attach the Ys, and then the, one, the air lines will get in back into these singles. Again, applying glue to the nipple, making sure that you don't cover the hole. Once you have all of your Ys connected to your jets, come over and you pick up the 3 8 arrows and you get your cutters and you go ahead and you attach the airline to all the jets all the way around. Again, making sure you don't cover up the hole with glue. You want to come over here and slip it on about halfway, three quarters over the jet. You want to guess where your line's going to cut. Again, applying glue, making sure you don't cover the hole. Very first jet, the single, after you get done with the airlines, you can pick up your water line, you want to apply a generous amount of glue onto the jet all the way around, making sure your glue is not dried, drying out, make sure it's nice and wet. You shove the dauber inside of the 
jet about, or the water line about three or four times. You always want to go with the curve of the hose with the tub, make everything look nice and keep it inside of the flange. You want to cut enough water, water line to be able to reach the middle of the jet to assure that it's installed correctly and all the way. Start your pump up there. You want to make sure that it stays inside the flange, it stays inside underneath the tub. You have two unions. You have your two inch union. So this is a 13 and a half amp pump. It takes a two inch union, and then you have a one and a half inch union T for the top. And then I have a reducer that's going to go into the airline. I have a 45 with another reducer. So that I can get around the curve of the tub and connect it into the water line on the other side. So make sure you hand tighten the unions, get it situated on where you want everything. Glue in the union or the uh, reducer into the union, gluing the outside and generously gluing the inside. Same thing with the 45. We double glue everything. Another reducer for the 45. Now we can 
put in the Ys to connect the water line that we just installed to connect it straight into the pump. You want to make about a one inch cut, take about one inch out of the hose, pick up your Y, glue one in. If you need to resize up your hose, now is the time to do it. I'm going to go ahead and take just another quarter of an inch off. Now with this, I'll be able to attach the water line from this Y straight into the pump. I do the same thing on the other side. I'll be able to attach the water hose from this Y and connect it straight into the 45 and reducer off the teeth. Now once I'm done with that, before I attach the water line to the hose, I'm going to install my 2 inch flex into the suction. It's easier to get the suction hose on before you install the water line straight into the pump so you, have, so you can move the pump to install it. top unions with your water hose. Making sure it's flush with the uh, union all the way in so that it doesn't leak. Sometimes you have to hold it for about 5 or 10 seconds for it to dry so it doesn't pull out which will cause leaks later down the road. Once you have that on, you want to come over and attach your safety suction. This is for if anything, like someone's leg or arm gets caught in the suction, it will automatically turn the pump off. You place a T in the airline for the air. on the safety section, you want to make sure it stays above water level.
And that is how you jet a whirlpool.